Nearly half of the world's children live in poverty. 12-year-old Melvin knows what that feels like. He lives with his grandmother in an impoverished community where poor living conditions result in health issues, such as tuberculosis, chronic respiratory and digestive problems. Lyons helped establish the Melvin Jones Health Center near Trujillo, Peru, more than 10 years ago. This 24-hour health center is the only one of its kind helping people who don't have resources to pay for the services they need. 300 patients are seen every day for general medicine, pediatrics, emergency care, and childbirth. Lions are as proud of the center today as they were the day it opened in 2002, the same day that Melvin Jones Gil Garcia was born. Melvin Jones fue el primer niño que nació Melvin was the first baby born in our center on the day of inauguration. As a symbol of gratitude to the lions, the mother decided to name him Melvin Jones. Lions wanted to find Melvin for the international president's visit. And that's when they discovered his parents abandoned him and he was no longer in school. My only income is selling recycling materials to support my grandson and the rest of the family. I wanted him to go back to school, but I couldn't afford it because my daughter was very sick and I needed to help her with the doctor's bills. When past international president Barry Palmer met Melvin and heard his story, he thought, what if Lyons helped him to return to school? He knew Lyons could make a difference in his life. Lyons accepted the challenge to help Melvin with his education through secondary school. We started getting to know Melvin and set up the psychological and health evaluations he needed. Melvin was malnourished, and knowing that hungry children do not learn well, Lyons arranged to have him receive breakfast and lunch at the home of his neighbors, the Garcia family. In the beginning, Melvin was shy and didn't communicate well. Now he's more talkative and has put on some weight. Lyons provided his uniform, backpack, books, and school supplies, and helped re-enroll him in school. He was placed in grade two. Melvin was at a much lower level than the other students, but he has advanced a lot. We consider this a great accomplishment. Lyons arranged for the Garcias to tutor Melvin. He's learning at a steady pace and retaining what he learns. He is studying math and reading, but is also learning to work with computers. Knowing how to use these devices is essential to perform well as students and later as professionals. He's changed 100%. He's happy now. I feel like this is a dream. Finally, my grandson has an opportunity for a better life. Lions are extending support to all children by donating books, reading with students, and expanding the Lions Quest program that teaches character education and life skills in a fun and interactive way. Education is important. It's like a passport that opens the doors to the world. Now the door is open to a better future.